Good morning, guys. Let's start this early morning off at the gym. So we're in Hobby Lobby today and I wanted to get a few things, but first I saw these t-shirts and then I saw these iron-alls and I got really excited. <laughs> The inner child inside of me came out, so I looked at some things and I got something that said travel, and I think I got some flowers and or maybe a rainbow, but I don't know, these things just made me really happy and I just got really excited and got off course. So the one thing that we came here to get was a palette knife because I needed to do a new painting and I finally found it. And instead of getting these right here, I decided just to get the plastic ones and then we headed out. So the next store we went in was um, Books A Million. Me and my daughter are starting to write a book and so I decided to go in here and just let her look around and get like a feel because the book that we're writing is a, children, a children's book. So I wanted her to look at colors, um, type, and the way books are made and just a different, like there's a, like a variety of ways like books can be designed. So I just wanted her to look at it and also for myself. So we um, saw a lot of good things in here. So I'm glad that we came. We don't have that many book options or like bookstore options where we are. So this might be something that we will have to venture out and do. And I don't really want to look online for everything. So I want to be able to touch the books, open them and just get a good feel. Falling to catch life, speeding to pass time, yeah. Gravity won't let you go, no. Gravity won't let you slow. So we saw some fun books. This one book, I Eat Poop, was so hilarious and it was cute. I actually thought about getting it for my nephew. And then we saw some books about helping children learn how to save money and getting jobs um, at an early age. And colorful books, books that show um, celebrities, um, you know, their life as they grew up. And then I came across this book that, um, like the design and the type, caught my eye but then I looked at the book and it was about uh, witches and it had spells in it so I looked at it and then I put it back down because it's not what I'm looking for <laughs> and then I also found um some notepads and some journals and like the design on the front was very interesting so we really just stayed in here for a long time and just dove into books and I feel like we, this is something that we should do often even when we're not doing a project like this but this trip was definitely worth it I feel like this was like the perfect thing to set off our um, imagination and creativity for this project Up until the morning, it's boring. At least I hear some type of interaction. Not too far from here. Right next door was Michael, so we did we hadn't planned on coming in here, but I mean Michael's is Michael, so we went and looked at some pens and some paint and markers, and we actually tested some out to to see what we would like. Um, I want to start doing a little bit more drawing in my sketchbook. So I just dabbled here on the paper. And then Marley had fun and looked at some pens too. Um, and she wrote, wrote a few things just to see how they feel. And we're just trying to see which pens we actually want to use because I think this is going to be fun for like the um, sketching process for the books. Instead of doing everything digitally, I told her that I did want to focus on doing some things, on some things pen to paper. I just think it's um, better that way. But I set expectations higher than a new PlayStation. I could never reach shelves at the top to be knowing on my feet. Started my Rihanna, now I'm swimming to the peak. Expectations never listen. Fell right through my vision. Turned it inside out. Upside down, down, down. You finally. 
The next day, I met up with a cousin and we both worked on our um, businesses and just bounced some ideas off of each other. And then I headed to Target and found some um, things that I needed and some things that I didn't need. Um, this just shows how big of a kid I am. This bin is so cute and I'm sure it's meant for a child or a baby. <laughs> and then I saw some candles. Um, I smelled a few of them and I love the colors, um, but I, didn't, I decided not to buy any. And we looked at some mirrors. My sister um, is trying to decorate her house. So we tried to see if we could find a mirror that we liked, but uh, we didn't have any luck with that. And um, we ended up buying some sh bookshelves for one of the closets in her house. So we're doing a project with that. And I guess we'll probably post a TikTok or something about that later. And so we just spent the day together and looked at furniture, went out to eat and shopped a little bit. Up until the morning. Um, we ended up taking a coffee break before we went to the next stores, and I've been liking PJs a lot lately. So after our coffee break, and we just like rested a little bit, we went to Williams Sonoma, and then we went to I think um, Crate and Barrel, and then another furniture store, and just looked at some things to decorate um, the house with. And I also was getting ideas for myself for when y'all finally start to subscribe to my channel, and I can move out my mom's house. I'm just keeping it real, child. So I'm just playing, kind of, but we looked at some furniture <laughs> that I would like and I saw a lot of tables and I also was in here looking for a rug that I could use right now because I haven't been able to find one that I like. Um, and that's about it. That's kind of like the few days that I got footage of. So I hope you guys enjoyed.